Okay, today guys, I'm going to be showing you six different hidden features of Netflix. Some of these might be brand new to you, some of them you may have heard of before, but these are great ways to customize your viewing experience. So as I get into it, smash a like button, subscribe for more, and let's get started. Okay then, so number one on the list has to be the new features. Okay, so to do this, we're gonna head on over to our icon top right here and we're gonna click on account. Just for reference, guys, we're on netflix.com. Uh, this is how you kind of get access to all of these settings. Some of this will translate across into your applications, so like your Windows app or your uh, iPad app and things like that. But sometimes it's best to just navigate to a web browser and go to netflix.com, log in, and then from there, you'll be good to go. So once we are here, we're going to basically look for the security tab over here on the left hand side we're going to give that a click and then down at the bottom here we have feature testing give that a click okay so in here you can see that we've already got this on uh, but basically this lets you basically participate in tests so you can see new and upcoming features before they roll out to all members okay so you want to turn that on if you want to be able to see everything that is going on within Netflix okay it's so a simple one nice and easy and then you can start to experience some of those new features before everybody else so feature number two is actually to unlock hidden or new content that you might not be able to see in Netflix so in here as you can see I've got the top 10 films in the United Arab Emirates as of today okay now if we go over to a VPN that allows us to move our IP address basically moves our location to somewhere else in the world and unlock new content now this might be new to some of you this is quite an old trick that a lot of people use but if I go over to my dedicated United Kingdom IP address and then we come on back into our Netflix here what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go over to my account briefly and then what I'm going to do is go back to Netflix this should then basically force an update and it's going to come up with all this usual stuff I'm just going to accept that we're going to ignore that and straight away we can now see that things have changed on my home screen here and we have top 10 TV programs in the UK today again this is going to be different shows that you're going to get in the United Kingdom versus the United States or the United Arab Emirates where I am today and so this is a great way to basically be able to unlock new pieces of content new films TV shows that just might not be in your region at the moment it's a great little hint and a hidden kind of feature of Netflix but it does require a VPN tool now I prefer personally using Nord VPN but I've used Surfshark in the past as well there's no affiliate links on this channel so there's nothing to click down below but you can easily find these via Google okay then so hidden feature number three is to customize your captions so sometimes it's great to have the volume low and you can read what is actually going on what people are talking about right captions not anything new by any stretch of the imagination but what you can do is actually customize these so what you want to do is head over again to your account area here okay it's going to load this up we're going to go over to the profiles I believe it is we're going to click on my profile and then we're going to come down to the subtitle appearance those captions we're going to click that and this is going to allow us to customize what they look like right so we have the different font types that you can choose here you've got the different sizes small medium or large you have whether you want a drop shadow or not whether you want background on the captions or not and you can obviously reset this to default as well okay so there's a few different functions you get here and it just makes things a little bit easier to see so up here you can see a little bit of a preview so if we go ahead and put typewriter in it will look like this if we want it to have a background we can go ahead and choose a white background on that maybe we want the font color itself to be black maybe we want the drop shadow to not exist so we can customize it this way maybe we want it to be large right we can make all of those fine-tuned adjustments to our captions within Netflix so that when we have them playing on the video it makes it a little bit easier for us to read what is actually going on it's a great little function and maybe you want to maybe you've made a mistake and you just want to put it back to the defaults you can go ahead and hit the default settings there and it's going to run it all the way back into the defaults okay then so next on the list is going to be number four which is to transfer the profile so let's say you're in a relationship right maybe things just don't work out and you want to go your own separate ways but 
do you actually have and been sharing under one household a single Netflix account with two different profiles? And you want to basically pack her off with her Netflix account as well as all of her belongings. Well, to do that, what we want to do is want to come back over to the account section here of Netflix. From here, we're going to come down to, well, we actually have it on this overview tab here. If we scroll down, we can see it says transfer a profile. Give that one a click. We could also do this from the profile area as well. And in here, we can see that we want to start a profile transfer. Now, I'm not going to click on this and go through all the steps, but it gives you an idea that you can actually have someone else set up a brand new Netflix account and transfer a profile from one account to another. This is a great way for kind of making a nice even split. And again, it kind of aligns with the fact that you're not supposed to be sharing passwords and all that kind of stuff when it comes to Netflix anymore. So if you want a nice clean split after a breakup, probably best to transfer the profile. Okay, so the next one on the list is something that I've been deliberately playing through this entire video, which are these auto-played adverts for the TV shows and movies and things like that, right? And they can get rather irritating whilst you're you know, scrolling through, trying to find something to watch that you actually have the trailer playing. So we wanna be able to turn off the auto-play functions. So to do that, we're gonna come over to our top icon again. We're gonna scroll down till we find accounts. We're gonna click on that and that's gonna load up all of our functions here. From here, we're going to go over to profiles. We're going to click on my profile in this particular case, and then we're going to come back to playback settings. We're going to click that, and we are going to see all of the different options that we get. So default uh, is auto, right? So basically, it's going to default the video and the audio, um, and basically, it's going to be um, showing us the data usage. Oh, sorry, that's data usage, right? And so that by default is okay, but if you've got like really bad internet, maybe you don't want to have you know, 4G, 5 uh, soaking up a lot of your kind of um, you know, your bandwidth. You can have low uh, for video and audio, you can have medium and you can have high. But in this particular feature, it's the autoplay of the previews that I'm going to turn off. You could also autoplay the next episode and you can turn that off as well. I actually don't mind that one so much, but the autoplay of the previews is kind of what I like to turn off. So we can turn that one off just using that uh, whilst browsing on all devices, save it in, and that is basically going to prevent that autoplay. So if we come back to Netflix now, we'll have Stranger Things with the uh, basically the banner, the poster of it, but we're not going to get that autoplay preview, which is a exactly what I like because I don't like that I think it's just kind of gets rather irritating with these things playing automatically over and over and uh, so yeah that's a great way to kind of turn it off and that was your next hidden feature okay so the last one on our list today for hidden features is probably the worst kept secret in all of Netflix and that is that there are things called secret codes. Now secret codes basically allow you to cut through a lot of the searching okay and actually presents all of the kind of videos whether that is uh, TV shows or uh, movies that fall within a certain category. So let's think of secret codes as category codes that basically allow you to basically filter everything that's available on Netflix to a specific category um, and now this is really useful for a couple of reasons right obviously we spoke about geolocations where you get different kind of results if you are in you know country A to country B and sometimes as well Netflix is going to give you recommendations right it's going to give you a list of things on here that it thinks you're going to want to watch right and it's not necessarily giving you everything so a secret code if you will secret code uh, basically filters everything to a category and there's no additional filters on that category. So for example, we come over to the search bar at the top here and we type in 8711. This is the secret code, uh, which is basically for horror. Now I don't really wanna ever watch any horror movies. It's really not my thing, but it's the code that always sticks in my head. So this basically now has filtered everything in Netflix to the horror category. It means I can just filter everything in here and find something to watch if I want to watch something within this category. Rather than actually going through and trying to find the actual category itself this way or um, by typing in horror or going down to films and basically searching for it that way I can just type the code in nice and quickly and it's going to come up with everything within that category okay it's uh, probably one of the worst kept secrets out there so you know it is what it is and that basically concludes 
all the kind of hidden features that I think are relatively hidden within Netflix. And so guys, there you have it. Six hidden features within Netflix, each kind of doing slightly different things that help you kind of experience the Netflix platform slightly differently, whether that is secret codes for filtering down to just category specific content, all the way through to stopping the auto play function, transferring profiles after a breakup, or even just customizing your captions. You can let me know in the comments down below which one you prefer or which one you find as the kind of the best one or maybe one that you just didn't even know you can let me know or maybe you have something that I've completely missed from this video you can let me know in the comments if you found it useful and informative smash the like button subscribe for more and I'll catch you in the next one